Good morning. What's up, everybody? Edwin here for NE Fishing, NE for the Northeast, where I'm based out of, and for uh, any type of fishing. Uh, freshwater, saltwater, kayak fishing, shore fishing, I do it all. So uh, if you do a mixed bag of uh, fishing, you know, this channel's for you. Um, you know, hit that subscribe button and uh, check out my other videos. Uh, it's about uh, 8.30 in the morning. It's about 32 degrees outside. It should get up to the high 30, so it'll be nice, you know, hot and sticky. Uh, and I'm making my way down about an hour's drive down to go meet up with a uh, subscriber of mine who's been a, uh, you know, long, long time supporter uh, through social media and everything. So we're gonna go fish his literal home waters and see if we can't put a catch together. So um, I will uh, catch up with you guys once we get there, all right? Here we go. So we're out here on the water. I'm out here with uh, Michael, aka Miguel, <laughs> aka uh, the Pickerel Master, out here on his uh, home waters. So we're gonna give it a shot, and uh, we're gonna mostly focus on using jerk baits and stuff like that, and see if we can get a couple uh, pickerel out here. Yep. Let's and, get, get some uh, big pickerels. <laughs> all right. And uh, maybe, maybe you never know. Maybe a little bycatch of something else. So we'll see. Let's I don't see. know. All right. So uh, stay tuned. No, I yeah, I know that's what I had to look forward to. I mean, my my son is two years old. I'm not, I'm not even gonna take him fishing until maybe another two years or something. And then, yeah, I already thought about it. It's gonna bring one fishing rod, and it's gonna be for him only because he's gonna fish. Right. And then it's all attention on him. He's gonna fish for about 15, 20 minutes, and then that's it. It's it's gonna be whatever else grabs his attention from there on. Yep. That's that's. And you can't push him. I think. No, so, you know. no. Don't 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 force a little kid to be out there for two hours or something. They they're gonna get bored. They're not gonna enjoy that. Especially if they're not catching anything. That too. Let me see if I can try to get across here. Wow. This. Is, if you walk sideways like this. Right. Like the yeah, just like a crab walk kind of. Yep. How how deep do you sink in here? I wonder. Oh yeah. Oh, I I hit something solid here. Oh, there we go. A little more solid ground. There's, there's definitely more solid ground right here. If you can get past that. Fresh. It's really good. Just gotta watch out for the worms. Oh, they, they have worms. Chances are, are you know most of the cod have worms in them. They don't they don't do anything to you. It's just a little weird seeing them sometimes. Oh, I, I, I'm not afraid of worms. I yeah. See, this is looking like pretty good water. I mean, there should be something in here. Yeah, no, I mean, you got over overcast skies. I mean, I'm not saying they should be uh, biting their, you know, committing suicide or anything, but one of us should have gotten a swipe at, you know, already or something. All right, so we fished the. Uh uh, Michael's first spot there and uh, there really wasn't much going on uh, there was bait around and everything but uh, it's a little tough so we're on our way out to uh, one of his other spots and see what happens there so uh, uh, we'll see yeah I'm good don't worry don't worry about me like I said I'm used to this kind of stuff trust me
Is it what's in here? Uh, pickerel, bass, crappie. Wow. What's that? Um, it's twelve thirty nine. I believe it's, it's, I guess it's a drinking water, it's the one that's processed. But, um, there's no fish, all of this is just vegetation, mm -hmm. um, like moss, and locals bring their kids there. Yeah. It's so clear. So, the second spot was a bust. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the, uh, a lot of the water was frozen over. It's been really cold lately. It's been dropping down to the 20s every night. Um, and the highs have been in the low 30s pretty much. So, uh, a lot of the water was frozen over. There was uh, some open water there in the creek, um, but we're not really finding fish. So, we're gonna go back to the river real quick and uh, finish off over there. And uh, hopefully now that the water is moving a little bit better, uh, we'll, we'll get into something. So, uh, we'll see. Holy... <laughs> Caught a bass. <laughs> All right, got a bass. Not quite what I was expecting, but that is really cool. Not bad for the first fish of the year. Nice bass. Wow. Big old bass. Come on, stay on, baby. Stay on. <laughs> oh my god. That is a big bass. That is the first fish of the year for me, and it's a beautiful, chunky three, three and a half pounder right there. That is fantastic. Look at that. Look how pale he is from, uh, from the, uh, how cold the water is. And I've got a little leech right here, a little, little parasite. Oh my god. Oh, that's ridiculous. Not what I was expecting to catch. Came out here target pickerel, not the big old bass. Oh, easy buddy, easy, 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 easy. Alright, let's see if we can uh, unhook him here. Oh, there we go. He just popped out. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. That is a big old chunky cold bass right there. Oh, cool. All right, let's take a couple pictures and uh, let him go. Big old red lips on her and everything. That's from the cold water. It's icy cold. Oh my god. This thing is It's like 19 and a half inches. 19 and a half inch largemouth. Wow. All right. Let's uh let's let this big girl go. Look at that. 19 and a half inches right there. Easy 3 3 and a half pounds. So uh thank you for that, baby. All right. See ya.
Look at her. And there she goes. All right, so the pickerel fishing was a bust. Uh, we fished the uh, a river that didn't get any bites. There was bait around. Um, we went to a different spot where unfortunately most of the water was frozen over. Uh, fished a creek for a little bit, but there wasn't anything going on. Um, unfortunately, Miguel had to go to work, so um, um, you know, went back to the river spot and. Uh, I thought for sure that uh, with the rising water level uh, and the moving water that there would be some action there. Um, well, there was, but not quite what I expected. Uh, I really was trying to target pickerel, but instead, you know what, as a consolation prize, I'll take a 19 and a half inch fat largemouth bass uh, from a tidal river. So that's not a bad way to start the year. That's actually my first fish of the year. It's my first bass of the year on the first outing of the year. So. Hopefully that's a uh, that's a good start to a good year. Let's 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 hope for that. But um, Miguel, thank you. Uh, it was great hanging out with you. It was great fishing with you. Um, thank you for showing me your spots there. Uh, definitely gonna ha uh, hang out with you some more, and uh, we're gonna uh, put in some time together and uh, try to fish some salt water as well, and um, try to take you up to one of my spots uh, in the near future. So thank you again for uh, for putting up with me and. Uh, uh, being my guide for the day, so thank you so much. Uh, you, you actually put me on uh, my biggest bass for the year so far and my first bass of the year. So thanks again. Um, hey, if you like this content, uh, please subscribe. Please give this video a like. Uh, please share the video. Uh, all that supports my channel. Uh, it helps it grow um, and allows me to create more content for you guys. So uh, until next time, uh, tight lights.